Stark's an energy data and analytics company uh, and we specialise in extracting data from non-domestic businesses, their metering estates, their complex uh, requirements. And then after we've extracted that data, we build tools and platforms to help businesses and, and other organisations minimise their, their carbon and, and save money. trading for over 40 years now, constantly trying to resolve customer problems. We've already got a very significant electricity data franchise in the UK, we're collecting over 30% of the UK's non-domestic electricity, uh, which is fantastic. It equates to a of about £10 billion worth of annual spend, but we've moved on to uh, other utilities such as gas and water. Uh, oil, heat, uh, compressed air, whatever it is, we can, we, can, we can measure it and we can back all that. We've also been active on the M&A front, so we've bought three businesses over the course of the last five years, a field services business, an asset finance business and a new connections business, all with the idea of helping our uh, customers solve their utility problems, whatever they might be. But we've also been busy on our building out our product set, so we've been our Stark ID, a data visualisation platform, Stark Zero, a platform that helps businesses move towards a net zero plan, and Stark Charge, our electric vehicle charge point business. So with these things, we think we're well set for the future. I mean, I guess the first step is often businesses underestimate how difficult it is to get high quality uh, recency data. Uh, and that becomes very important because only when you've got great data can you perform the dental data analytics, can you put the AI over it and get meaningful, actionable insights. I think when you've got those meaningful, actionable insights, that's when you're able to uh, put in place the initiatives that help businesses save money on their energy, con uh, on their energy bill and, actually, and also reduce, reduce carbon and reduce consumption as well. Um, you know, I think the regulatory and market um, bit is also very important and we believe that the journey to net zero can only really be uh, done by strong data and strong data analytics. We've been busy now for the last 40, 40 years. Um, we have a main operation in the UK, but we also have customers in the US, in South America, um, in Australasia. But this Dubai base is our first sort of major uh, overseas hub where we're putting boots, boots on the ground, so that's really exciting for us. I think it's, it's just it's great timing, you know, we've obviously done our research on the C Group, excellent professional organisation that can provide us with a helping hand in the region, uh, helping us to navigate the, the cultural and the business differences that we would face in the UK and other markets in which we operate. So we're really excited. I think for Dubai in particular, you know, you've got COP27 that's coming in Egypt, you've got COP28 that's coming in Dubai in 28. It's time for the region to take a stand. Um, and we believe that Seed are really well placed to, to drive that initiative. Well, it's, it's fair to say we've had approaches from multiple different places and jurisdictions in the area. You know, for us, Dubai takes a leadership role in this area and is at the forefront of, of multiple initiatives in terms of climate change, and those are supposed to be commended. You know, and that in combination with the Seed Group, I think, puts us in a really, really good, good, good place. Businesses and government are significant contributions, contributions towards carbon output in the region and to make a difference it really needs strong leaders, strong leaders that are prepared to make statements and make a difference, you know, to put in place action plans that are more than just a verbal commitment to see action on the ground. And the best way to do that is via data and data, data, and data analytics. You know, without good data, without the right plan, uh, it's very difficult for strong leaders to actually put those words into, into action and that's where Stark can come in. Actually what we're offering is a, is a way for businesses to understand what their lowest total cost of ownership is to get towards net zero. There are multiple ways that businesses can do it but it's going to cost money and business leaders are trying to figure out how do I get to net zero, how do I do that while, while keeping the, my outgoings as low as possible. So with the right analytics, with the right plan in place, actually we can help businesses figure out their lowest cost of ownership to get towards net zero. Our ultimate mission is, is to help the climate change, um, but at the same time help customers save money. Um, so facil by facilitating those relationships in the, in the, in the local area, 
by helping customers be aware of the type of services that are available in the space, we're making one extra step towards reducing carbon and saving customers' money, and that's got to be a good place for us to be.